Okay, I don't know Marissa that well, but maybe she's she's still in love with JR. Maybe not. Maybe she's in love with you. I'm glad we've narrowed that down. <laughs> what I'm saying is, Binks, you don't have to you don't have to to ask her. Just give her the music box, see how she reacts. Maybe then you'll get your answer. And then avoid wrecking our friendship if she doesn't feel the same way. Right, right. I mean, I know it'll still hurt, but not as much. Oh, well, before I do anything, uh, Gabby is at a play date, so I promised Miranda that we would have a mommy-daughter ice cream date. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before you go pig out on ice cream, did you look at the Miranda Center stuff? What do you think? Oh, yeah, it's, it's great. And, uh, and, and brilliant that you got Griff back in there after all the... Beating his reputation took after yeah, the charges. I thought that was pretty smart. Yes. Yeah. All right. Go, go. I don't want to keep Miranda from her ice cream. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Yeah. Hey, thanks for uh, listening. Stop. Come on. What are, what are big sisters for? <clears throat> okay, now go for it. Just go. Take a chance. Come on. Okay. us there's a strong possibility i'll be returning to pvh very soon now exactly is that going to happen i'm in the business of making miracles remember <sighs> and i would like you to sign on as my chief of cardiac surgery you planning on running the hospital again i wouldn't settle for anything less so can i count on you i mean after all you are second best <laughs> right behind me <laughs> I stole meds from the hospital. The board's not exactly crazy about me. Oh, please. I've almost killed a board member or two. They get over it. You're like me, Castillo. You think outside the box. You shouldn't be punished for that. So this chance of a lifetime is... It's exactly what you think it is. And I'd also like for a change to have someone on my side in that Martin Hubbard stronghold. My sister's married to yeah, a Martin. I'm trying not to hold it against you. So what do you say? I'm honored. And it would be amazing to work next to you again. But I've already made my decision. Decisions can be unmade. Not this one. You know how big this is. Think about it. Talk him into staying, will you? What did David want? Don't ask. Sorry for, uh, for taking off on you like I did before. Bianca needed you. So, how is she? She's better. I mean, what she went through with Ricky was horrible, but now it's brought back some, uh, some issues from the past. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, if I hadn't have brought Ricky into our lives, she wouldn't be having these nightmares. What happened with Bianca was bad. But you shouldn't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. That's what Bianca said. That's a wise woman. Yeah, she's wiser than I'll ever be. But one thing that we did take from this is we, we realized how important it is to not let the past define us. Move forward. So that is what I'm doing here. Um, if you have some time. Nothing but. Okay, good. Um, I was hoping maybe we could start the conversation about the Miranda Center Clinic and you could teach me everything I need to know. Sure. First, I have some news. Please tell me it's good. Yeah, you were part of making it happen. Oh, that is not reassuring. Liza was here. The charges? Community service. No jail time. That's great! Huh? No, that is great! Oh. That is so 
I'm sorry. Um, I, uh, I, I, I'm just, I'm so happy for you. I am happy for you. I'm happy too. Yeah. Okay, I am going to order. How about you color this guy? Okay, mommy. Okay. Hey, hi. Um, can I have two banana splits, both vanilla? You got it. And listen, Bianca, I just wanted to say I'm really glad you're okay after what that psycho preacher man put you and Marissa through. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm just really sorry that I got her all tangled up in it. Listen, there is no part of me that blames you for that, so you just put that out of your head. I'm serious. Hey! Uh, looks like a party. Yeah, it is now. I didn't expect to see you or this little handsome tyke. Well, you know, we had an ice cream emergency. Ah, well, somebody just ordered two banana splits over here. Oh, I hope you have enough bananas I for more. I think I do. I'll get right on it. <laughs> do you mind if we join you? I, no, no, let's just take the bigger table. Great. Okay. You guys keep coloring? Yeah, it looks good. So, um, banana split, huh? I had you peg more as a hot fudge. Uh, you know, I, I should actually get some more napkins. Uh, splits are seriously messy. Oh, no, no, no. Just wait until the Sundays come. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm sorry about earlier. It, it seems like I hung up on you. I was just in the middle of something with Kendall. Oh, no, no. It was really not a big deal. But earlier at the club, you did say there was something you wanted to talk about. What's up? Hey! Give room for one more. Well, I must say, I don't think I've ever seen you enjoy a meal quite so much. Oh, to die for. I mean, simply to die for. Miss Kane, lunch for everyone in the restaurant. You are fabulosity itself. Oh, I'm just having so much fun. No. Oh. <laughs> You've made a lot of people happy here. Now, as I was saying about Kendall and Bianca... Oh, they're probably enjoying their day. Let's enjoy ours, too, okay? Why don't you want to talk about them? What do you mean I don't want to talk about them? They're my daughters. I mean, but we don't have to talk about them 24-7, do we? Erica, you're the kind of mother who likes to be involved. In you know, I don't know. That's the second time you called me that. Called you what? Mother. Excuse me? Jack, can't we just have a nice lunch? Can't we just focus on us? No, we can't. Not until you tell me why you have been acting so strangely since you've come home. Erica, what happened? Why are you acting like this? Look, I love you. Whatever it is, you can tell me. You are such a good man. Thank you. So tell this good man, if you would, please, what the hell is going on? Nothing. Okay. Okay, if you can't tell me, then maybe we should find someone with whom you're comfortable. You know, a professional. A shrink? Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Look, I just, I just want help. You know, I'm, I'm going to go to the ladies' room. Oh. Why do you keep trying to run away from me? Yeah, there's plenty of room. Thank you. This was a great idea. You joining me and AJ was your idea. Like I said, a great idea. Don't you agree? Yeah, there wouldn't be an ice cream party without you. Oh, yeah, and speaking of parties, I was thinking maybe you could bring the girls over next weekend. We could have a pool party. You know, first one of the season. It'll be a barbecue. I, I'm, I'm not sure if, if we're free. I'll, I'll check my schedule. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to have lots of get-togethers this summer. Uh-huh. You better go get your own Sunday. I'll be right back. He's in a good mood. Yeah, but you're not. I know why.
This is big news. This is huge. <laughs> we have to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, this is about as big as it gets. <laughs> and I get to practice medicine again. That's amazing. It's, it's so great. So, no jail time. It's great. <sighs> um, does that mean that you'll probably be... And be leaving town again soon. No, I have to stay here six more months. I still have community service. Great. I mean, I, you know, because I, I was, I was counting on you helping me with. With the Miranda Center clinic. Yeah. Exactly. Got something for you. Here. What's this? Uh, this is in advance for your services. Um, it should help you pay back the hospital. You sold the casinos? No. No, the sales are so stuck in red tape right now. But I figured I'd start with this, and then I'd give you a daily stipend. For what? For showing me everything I need to know about setting up and running a clinic. This way, when you leave town, there'll be a smooth transition. Yeah, running a clinic is a lot more than just signing checks. Yeah, well, my sister has run the Miranda Center very successfully for a long time. Yes, yes, but this is a medical clinic. Broader scope, different demands. Okay, well, if you know so much, then show me. You're on. Jack, going to the ladies' room, powdering my nose. This is hardly running away Your nose you. looks fine. I want you to sit here and I want you to talk to me. We have been having the most perfect day. Erica, there's a problem here. I know there is. I want to know what the hell it is. The only problem is you. Me? Yes. Look, there has been so much drama. I mean, my kidnapping and, and Bianca and Kendall and that horrible man. And I just really feel that you've been ignored. So I just wanted to spend this day focusing on you, only you. But Kendall and Bianca, you know, they... They are all grown up and they probably are having a great time. They're surrounded by friends. They have a big support group around them. I mean, they don't even know how lucky they are. They're very lucky. Because you are a part of that support system, but you are equally as lucky because you have friends who love you. Yes, I know that. Of course I do. What I mean is just because we're family doesn't mean that we are stuck only talking about family, does it? No, I guess not. Miss Kane, could I have your autograph? Of course. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. This is just going to take a seat. This is so exciting for me. Oh, it's exciting for me, too. <laughs> so who should I make it after? Okay, I'm going to... Sally Creedon with an I. Sally, okay. To Miss Sally with an I. Um, here's to a fabulous meal together. Erica? Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Enjoy your evening. That was quite the performance. Oh, it's important to keep the fans happy. I think you mean Erica's fans, don't you? You know, maybe a bit too flashy, but other than that, a very good imitation. Now just think about how fast this will all disappear if I don't get what I want. Okay. 